So a dead battery on the camera will get you every time. Um, I left off. We're actually just demonstrating the AC field. Uh, it's present on both terminals. And I have checked it with a meter. It is AC or it's at least fast enough to trick the meter into believing it's AC and it's it's pulsed DC. Irrespective, it, it behaves um, so similar that most devices don't seem to notice the difference. Um, however, in saying that, I certainly would not plug anything into this that you wanted to keep or that was expensive because uh, it is highly likely to be the end of its life just based on frequency most things uh, are not designed to cope with this type of high frequency um, so the cell puts off sorry the, the circuit uh, produces a radio frequency so it's highly possible that this isn't high voltage um, I mean the circuit does produce high voltage but this also could be radio frequency some of this um, fluorescent uh, lighting this is just using a radiant energy collector that the battery becomes um, uh, like an emitter almost the, the battery and and all the way along the power supply lines um, are also emitting a, a pretty strong dielectric field. Um, if we couple that one to there, we can sort of take this around the circuit, and <laughs> you've got to be careful because if you touch this stuff yourself, it's not. It's not kind. It should be of a high of enough frequency that it really can't electrocute you, but it certainly does burn. Um, and it definitely does not feel pleasant. Um, I initially noticed this radio frequency by mistake. I just left the fluorescent tube nearby uh, with a a cable connected to it. The cable just sort of acts like an earth, like a grounding. Um, so I, I imagine the longer that that cable is, um, I suppose it would work to, to a degree, the longer the cable is um, possibly a better grounding than that would sort of demonstrate maybe not as I said there's so much to, to be tested and to be discovered the majority of this side of the circuit um, is is really for experimentation um, you know, as, as I showed you on the smaller version of the circuit uh, it, it, this is not all necessary this is just for the what if testing what, what if I touch this to that and you know, will it blow something up or so you know an advantage of of that mentality um, you, you know allows me to discover certain things like this there's, there's uh, more than one pickup location for contacts, so if we connect that to Earth, this this Earth here is um, standard housing wiring, ah, internal installation wiring. This um, is thirty meters, and this goes to Earth with two actual grounding rods, um, possibly. 
one and a half meters, 1.8 meters or something in length, both driven into the ground, about two meters apart they are, and they're both connected in series on this on this line, which is 30 meters long. The other earth here goes straight to a, a light that I've connected into the ground. Um, and this facilitates the one wire single transmission, um, yeah, single wire transmission through Earth. So I can actually connect this wherever I want if 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 the main Earth, this 30 meter Earth, is connected to the low voltage side of the coil. Um, at that point, I can connect uh, this earth wire, which is probably another 30 meters away. Um, so I, I can't actually show you that in this instance. So I can demonstrate the different earth contact, uh, sorry, different um, uh, contact points for taking the load. So again, this now connecting this earth across to this light which is independent um, and coming from the low voltage side of the coil and that will allow me to light that up off of the collector off of thanks dog off of the negative terminal of the battery positive terminal of the battery um, there's a, f a few different spots that you can take the load from um, it is interesting to note that um, without the two earths um, this one wire transmission doesn't go through earth so I can have my my light connected up. Uh, yeah, and and there'd be nothing nothing present if I remove uh, this line coming from the coil low voltage side. So I, I imagine um, the best way is to actually go and show you that connected into the ground. Uh, so if we connect this one here, we'll get earth connection through the ground. Uh, we go traveling out this 30 meter line into the earth, it sends the signal, and this line is traveling to the light or the load, um, and then straight into ground they would be 60 meters apart if, if both of these cables are actually 30 meters um, I may as well before we do that there would be the schematic Let's put that down there and try and give this a ability to stay there um, I might zoom in on that. 